Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. So, how dare you? So today I'm going to be showing you guys some awesome little build hacks and kind of build tips and tricks. Some of these will be structural sort of build uh, hacks and some will be more sort of decoration sort of items that you can put in your house. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, then don't forget to drop a like on the video. You're really having out me by doing so. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into the video. Okay, now this first one that I'm going to be showing you guys is a very cool little thing. So you can actually put items in glass like that. And if you can actually set up a unique situation like this, in the never, if your portal actually breaks, you can put up a sign up there, break glass in case of emergency, you can actually just break that glass and take out the item like that. And you can just go ahead and light it and put it back. Very, very simple, right? And it does work with any item. It's not just flint and steels. You can put your weapons and stuff in there. You can do all kinds of unique things. And it's very, very simple to build. All you need to do is just place down an armor stand like that, and then you're just gonna use a piston to push blocks into it like that. Okay, the next one that we have got is an actual bed, but it's not any ordinary old bed. So this is something that you build in your house and you can't actually sleep in it, but it does look quite nice. But if you actually open up this, you actually can sleep in it. There's a little secret compartment for bed underneath. So you actually can get in that and out of that nice and easily. And also, if you want to add a bit of extra decoration, you can actually remove some of these top parts and have it so it's kind of 3D like that. Or you can make it look like there is a sheet underneath and place down some white wool like that. Now to build this, it's very, very simple. So you just put uh, wool on top, red carpet on top, and have your bed underneath. So you just crouch and place that on top of your bed, and then just place the wool on the rest of the blocks as well. And as for the pillow, I decided to go with some old snow. Okay, now this next design that we've got, guys, is a TV cabinet. Now this can be used as just a table if you want. You can cut off a whole TV pod at the stop there. But uh, what makes this design so unique is the fact that these stick out like this. It kind of makes it look like some nice little drawers. And all of these are openable. You can open them and put your items in it. No problems at all. And uh, this is very, very simple to build, guys. But you need to make sure that you have carpets along the fronts. Because if you don't have any carpet along the front, these will actually end up coming out and going all over your floor. But to get those in there, you just need to lay down some minecarts going down this way and put a actual block just there. And you're going to go ahead and drop those into there, all three of them. And then you're going to remove them and you're going to put this carpet back down. Okay, and as for the next part, the upper part, yeah, make yourself at home, why don't you? As for this upper part, so as I said, you can use this as a table because you can actually place things on top of it like that. And now to get that at that um, side like that, you're going to go ahead and remove that. And this trap door needs to be placed just at the top of that block like that, not onto the next block like that, at the top of this one. And then you'd use a piston to push that down onto that level right there. And then you can just go ahead and either use it as a table or a TV like that. Okay, next up I'm going to be showing you guys a few furniture designs. So this first two that we're going to be starting off with are some kitchen dining tables. They are of a very simple design, so all it requires is a lectern just underneath to make for the chair, uh, table legs, like that. And then you're going to place some trapdoors along the top of those. And on the ends we're also going to double up the trapdoors like this. So those are two trapdoors right there. As for the chairs, it is simply just a scaffolding with a trapdoor on top of it like that. And now for this next table, it is just like more of an outside sort of table, more of a picnic table. Uh, it's just trapdoors running across the top and then some folded up trapdoors like that. Okay, this next one I'm going to be showing you guys is a bit of a display sort of case. So you actually can place down helmets like this and you can remove them off and put them back whenever you feel like it. So this is of a very simple design and it does look quite nice just sitting in your house as a little bit of a different sort of design. Now the way that this works is it does use some armor stands and what they're doing is they are sitting on a slab just down there. So an actual slab they are sitting on and you gotta make sure that they are on a slab otherwise they'll be a bit too low down for this to work. But after you've got the armor stands sitting on a slab like that you're gonna place down some trap doors on the sides and then you're gonna use a piston again to push down a trap door to that level right there. And then the top of the armor stand will be sticking out so you can actually just place it down like that and it makes for a nice design. Next up, we have got a wardrobe sort of design. So I tried to make it so it looks like the doors actually open to add a bit of a unique sort of feeling to it. And now you can make this one wide as well, but I decided to make it two just to give it a little bit more space. Now the way that this works is just simply have a wall behind it and place down your items down there. And then you just raise up the trap doors on the sides of those item frames, and then you go ahead and place down some things on the front there. 
And then to make, create the open door effect, you're just gonna place these ones sideways and raise them up like that. And don't forget to put on your roof as well. Next up, we have got a hot tub or jacuzzi sort of like, and it does actually really look like a hot tub. You can actually just place down some quartz stairs like that to add a nice white effect and put trap doors going around it. Now, if your white stairs going all the way around like that, you're gonna go ahead and place down some soul sand in the middle. And what that does is actually lets off a bubble effect like that, which does look really cool. Okay, the next one we got is actually a wheelbarrow. So this will look nice out in your back garden or something if you're creating a creative world. To create this, it's very, very simple. You just place down a composter, and then you gotta use a grindstone and place a uh, crouch and place like that. And it will stick on like that. And then you just place down a fence gate like that and open it. And it creates a nice little wheelbarrow. Next up, we have got a lamp design. So if you have defeated the Ender Dragon and taken his egg, you can put your egg on display and make it kind of look cool as well. So you just place down your egg and then you crouch and place down a lantern on top. And it really does look like a lamp just sitting in your room. Next up, we have got a keg design. So this really does look like a keg. So you just place down a scaffolding, a barrel on the front and crouch and place that on the front. Next up, we have got a piano. I know, it really does look like a piano. So to create this, guys, you just need three looms going across the front, a nice little stair on the side like that, diagonal from that, you're going to need a slab, place a block behind that, and then a stair on top of that, a slab, diagonal slab, slab, and a fence post. And then you're gonna need a block and a block, and put a lectern just in the middle, and put some trap doors around the back and then signs across the front, and then put the legs on it as well. Very simple design, but I think it really does look like a piano. Next up, we have got a nice sort of simple desk that you can put in your room. So it does look like you have a nice book there that you're reading. Um, to create this as simple, you just place down some trap doors going around blocks like that, and put a lectern in the middle. And then it's gonna to wanna to place a book on that lectern. Okay, next up we have got some structures little ones. So this one is actually a train track. It actually really does look like a train track. And to create this, you just simply need some campfires. And if you place down a campfire and then put some water on that campfire, it'll put it out and it'll turn into this block. You just lay these blocks going all the way along and put some slabs on both sides of it like that. And it creates a nice train track for a creative. Next up, we have got another design on that. So we just simply lay this down like this and it does look like a minecart track. And also we can lay those across the top as well. And it creates a nice sort of beam effect. Now I reckon this is very, very useful for a creative sort of adventure world because I reckon it looks much better than the standard sort of mine shaft design. Next up, we have got a unique fence design. So this one actually makes it look like the fence goes up and down like this. And simply to do that, you just place down three fence gates going in a line like that. And then whenever you, whenever you place a solid wall next to it, those two on both sides of it lower down and the middle one stays up like that. It does make for a nice sort of fence design. Next up, we have got a fireplace. So usually when you have a one wide fireplace like this, you either have to make it very bulgy at the top, which kind of doesn't make it very appeasing to the eyes, or you can raise up a single pillar going up like this and put some trapdoors around it and a fire in the middle. Now that does really make for a smaller sort of chimney design. Next up, we have got a bridge design. So with the campfires releasing, you can actually create an amazing looking rickety sort of bridge going over a chasm of very bad, bad things. Um, you just simply place down again, some campfires going across and put those fires out and it really does create a nice sort of bridge. And another thing that you can do if you're into the creative sort of building, you can place campfires under the lava like that to kind of make it look like it's on fire. Next up, we have got a road sewer sort of design. So I am on super flat, so I couldn't go down too far. But the basic idea of this is you can create some manholes and some sewers that you can kind of go down into. So simply like this, and you can just walk through them until you get to the man next manhole like this and come back up. Next up, we have got a nice looking graveyard design. So this is a more nice sort of, sort of design rather than your spooky sort of graveyards. This will look nice in something like a city. So simply to do this, you're gonna place down some lecterns in the ground like that. And you're gonna place down a book on top of that. And next to that, uh, just some stone bricks and some flowers on top. And I decided to separate this with a nice hedge going across to kind of give it that brighter sort of feeling. 
And if you wanted to take it to the next level, each one of these books, you can put down a name inside the book. So when you're walking along, checking the graveyard, you can actually pull this up and have a look who it actually is. Next up, we got a miniature desert. So you can create this just as a little bit of fun, just as a bit of decoration to have around your house, or you can actually map out a full desert and place down the blocks accordingly to your desert to create a bit of a scale sort of plan of it. And what these are is they're sea pickles and it does really look like a nice cactus. So you can place it down like this, however you want to design it, however big as you want it, I reckon it makes a nice sort of design. So I realized I had actually forgot one of my designs. So this is a garbage bin. So it does look like a nice sort of city garbage bin and it does actually work as well, which I'll show you in a moment. But to build this, just place down a cactus and you gotta surround it in picture frames like that. It puts a trap door on the front. And now if you go ahead and chuck an item at it, seeing as it is a cactus, the item will disappear. And that is all the build designs, guys. So if you guys want to see more videos like this, then let me know in the comments below because I'm happy to come up with some more build designs. And uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, as I said earlier in the video, don't forget to drop a like in the video to really be helping out this video to reach a new audience. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe. It would be very, very much appreciated. And I want to say thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.